What's up, ladies and gents? Sunshine One, your host, back at you, and we have got more Splinter Cell, the original HD. Of course, the bonus missions this is on the PC. So, uh, thanks to a fellow subscriber out there, I've been able to um, go into my INI files and actually make this 1080. I tried to do uh, 4K and I tried to do 1440. However, um, the game is just not optimized for that, as it uh, the frame rates are not even above 60. Uh, even though it should be because the game is <laughs> is over, you know, 12, 13 years old. But um, so we decided to go with 1080p. At least it is full 1080p, so it should be good to go. This is going to be the second bonus mission, and we're going to pretty much get right away. I love how quick that these just load up. So this is uh, Yusuka Infiltration. So I'm going to go ahead and read this this time. Again, we're going to be doing this in a stealthy manner. We are going to have to take out... Uh, my goal is only to take out one person. That one person is a must um, if you want to go through the uh, story parts. If you don't want to go through the story parts and you're going for like a faster time, uh, then you might be able to get around. But because of the story parts and because of just that and I want to give you as much story as possible, we are going to take out one guy. So. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and read this information. Information collected at the Kola facility indicates that the cell operating under the command of Colonel Alekisevich has standing orders to capture a Russian submarine manufacturing facility on the Kola Peninsula. Third echelon monitoring reveals that the Russian nuclear submarine Veskla, I, I'm probably saying that wrong, is currently docked at the facility. The submarine must be located and Alekisevich's remaining men must be stopped. I'm horrible at names. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and without further ado, it's go time. We've updated your objectives. Your first target is a Russian sailor. We spotted him by drone. We think he's the only shipyard employee left alive. What makes him so special that they let him live? That's what we're going to find out. Oh yes, Synthes 301 studies the art of invisibility. <laughs> so you can tell me what movie that is from, that is right, the movie quotes are back. This is of course classic Splinter Cell, so like a glove. Here we go, alright, so you can see there's a guard right over there, so as soon as we drop down he's going to be moving, if you've been doing it in the, the amount of time that I have. Slowly roll down here a little bit. What I'm about to pull off is very, very difficult to do because we're not taking this guard out. So get out your jammer camera, camera jammer. Uh, run up here as you're going to need all the time you can get. Here we go. You need to get around to his right. He is going to turn. As soon as he turns now, go. As you can see, I'm freely able to move in the light because he turned. And you're good to go. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. All right, get out your uh, your weapon here. You're going to want to wait a little bit. This guard's going to come into the room no matter what you do because there's two different routes that you can take, but either one of them will get his attention. Wait just a little bit. That is done so we can uh, get around into this door. Now you'll see there's this. Nothing you can do. You will be seen by this. Actually, you're not even seen. He, it shoots automatically. There's nothing you can do about it. Like, even if you actually paid attention, it didn't see us. It shot when it was facing the opposite direction, but it's just an automatic thing. The other one is a camera and a pipe there, but if you shoot the camera, he will hear it no matter what. Again, this is only because we are actually taking out that soldier. But this is the safest route to do because you'll see why here in just a second. As you can see we were able to get around and he was never able to see us. This kind of sucks sometimes that this happens here. There we go. Yo, there's a reason I'm trying to be a little fast here because there's a guard that just went into the bathroom right there so run past here. There's two other guards that are going to be coming up these stairs and you're going to want to get around them. In order to do that, if you're fast enough like I've been, you're able to get to your objective first. However, if not, you'll need to wait down in the basement area. And here's a camera. You don't need to shoot the camera. Slow your roll when you get here so the guards don't hear you. The camera won't see you from this point on. Eating like that, you are going to get fat. I can't help myself. My own mother never cooked so well. Maybe you didn't salt her well enough. There's three guards. Now, if we were to distract him right now, anyway, we could get inside. We, we can go into that patrol. room. If you forward the conversation, you're able to get in and out without taking any guards out. But I do not want to skip the conversation as I want to give you the story, the reason that this mission even exists. And it's the only story you really get, so that's why we're doing it this way instead. So 
So wait for that guard. As soon as he turns around, then you can go. Get out your night vision. Don't get too close to this door, or else he will be able to see you, as he's going to use the keypad. This is the guard we're going to take out. Again, you cannot take him out by skipping the conversation by actually you doing a diversion while they're talking and then getting in here and then skipping the conversation. Well, you can pick up the satchel here, I guess. Babadav. You're not one of them. Quickly, untie me. No. But I do have a few questions. You're... you're not here to help me? I'm not here at all. I can't take you with me, and if I untie you, it'll only mean trouble when the Spetsnaz find you. I don't have much time, and I need to know why you're alive. Oh, God! They killed everybody but you. Why? I'm... I'm a submariner. I operate the broadcast system on the Vselka. She's docked outside. Broadcast system? The submarine has a good communication system. Very flexible. The Azeris are using you to transmit signals north. So how can I get at it? You can't. Not now. They, they keep submarines submerged. So how do you get at it? We radio to the submarine from the compressor control room on the fourth floor. You need a passcode to get inside. I'll bet you know that code. Please, untie me. I'm getting cranky, Bob Rav. The code is 8027. I wish we could save him, but we can't. I'm gonna need it to surface first. We're working on it. I'll get back to you. As you can see, uh, everything should be timed correctly. You can get around. We figured out how you can force the sub up. If you deactivate the compressor, they'll only have a few minutes to decide between surfacing or sinking to the bottom and suffocating. Details on your offset. I don't think I'm going to be making any friends on this job. So this is where you need to go in and get to your notes. You can see it's 8027. Go ahead and switch over to your camera jammer. Crap, wrong button. Everything is built off a specific time pattern. There's a guard in this area, two of them, but he's actually looking in the other direction right now, so. You'll see right here that this guard will not be able to see you, and there's also a guard right there, too. Two of them, actually. Wow, okay. GPS shows you within a stone's throw of the compressor. Get ready to move once you've thrown it. The men coming out of that sub aren't going to be happy. You're underestimating my charm. Alright, so... Fit in. Watch yourself. Sometimes there's a, um, a glitch that can happen. We're going to shoot out that light and this light. So, if you go through this door there, like when you're coming through, there was another... You remember the guard that, that came through there that we were able to sneak by very fastly? Well, you can go through that door. There's a guard waiting, a colonel that you can get through a retinal scanner that will take you to where you need to go into this room. That's another method. But you have to actually take someone out. This one requires you to take no one out. However, sometimes the guards can glitch when you do this part uh, and not actually come through this door. So hopefully uh, it won't glitch on me. These guards here are going to be making their way up. But um, the last time I did this perfectly, uh, they didn't come up at all. They just uh, they never showed up. <laughs> and I couldn't get out of the room, so... As you'll see, the door is shut now, and you can't you can't you can't go through. So you have to wait for them. However, if they never show up, well, I guess you're just screwed. So, I mean, the the only <laughs> this would have been a very short lifespan for uh, uh, Agent Sam Fisher if the enemy just decided, you know what, we're just gonna leave the door shut. Um, don't open the door for the enemy. There's no other way out of this room, but uh, the enemy's not smart. Hopefully it doesn't do this glitch again. Please tell me they're going to come through.
There we go, they came through. Alright. <laughs> that makes it so much better when they come through. Congratulations, we did it. Now there's going to be two more guards that are going to be coming. So you're just going to want to wait at the stairs here. No way to get around these guys as they're, by the time you get to here, it's like kind of canned automatic where they're going to be heading up the stairs. And there's literally nowhere to hide at, on, like, in these actual stairs. So just wait for them. So another successful mission wasn't too hard to figure out. I wanted to get the, the best timings and stuff like that. Sometimes you have to manipulate guards in order to, to get around and uh, obviously there was a one small glitch where the guards didn't come through but uh, it looks like we're clear and good to go now so only one more uh, section with guards but they're actually pretty easy to get by. Again, it's another canned thing, so just get to this point, and they're going to be coming through. Make sure you're not running when you do this. And congratulations, you have completed this level. Second level, it's time to now infiltrate the sub, or actually get on the sub. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed another stealthy mission for Splinter Cell, the original game. Thank you for all the love and support so far. Hopefully you enjoyed, and of course, we'll have one more mission for you right after this. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out, bitches. We've updated your objectives. Your first target is a Russian sailor. We spotted him by drone. We think he's the that. only shipyard employee left alive. What makes him so special that they let him live? That's what we want you to find out. As you can see, you can get by that dog if you just keep going. Because we are Sam Fisher, studying the art of invisibility. I failed the jump. Um, sorry. <laughs> now you can run a little bit because you're going to need a little bit of extra time. Remember, we're not taking him out, so that's why it makes it just a tee bit more difficult. So here, I'm actually going to use... Um, no, I guess we'll go ahead and use this. The door's shut, we should be good to go. Sometimes you're not able to shoot this. Alright, looks like we were able to get the cam without him being actually alerted this time, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so this is a little difficult of a part. Wait till the door shuts that way so he doesn't hear. Yes. El perfecto. So we did this that way we can actually get by. There's other ways you can do it. You can go behind there and, and not worry and, and get behind there, but... I would rather be do figure out the like stealthier, um, cooler ways to go around. So, all right, go ahead and get out your uh, lock pick. The thing about these is they are actually set. I don't know how I just got... What? This guy came all the way over there because he heard that? And slow your roll down you here. Like that you are going to get fat. I can't help myself. My own mother never cooked so well. Maybe you didn't salt her well enough. <laughs> Be nice. 
Anyway, we need to get back to our patrol. Relax. Nothing's going to happen. This is the easiest job we've ever had. Us and our sailor friend both. But dinner is over. Come on, Arkady. So you can get, get around without coast. taking one of these guys out. However, you have to skip the conversation that happens, and we don't want to do that. And that's where you need to go. We have an unauthorized presence in the compressor room. Send the team immediately. Intruder in the submarine compressor room. The camera will never see us because of the fact that we took out those two specific lights. But here, uh, there's nothing we can do, we just gotta wait. Waiting for the guards to come up that you saw. Now either you can go back, um... You can go back the way we came, or... Which will have to use the camera jammer again. Or you can also go the other route, which, uh, again, in order to get through that route the first time, you actually had to... Uh, take a guard out and uh, use a retinal scanner. So that's why we went this way, so we wouldn't have to take him out. So we're just waiting for them to come up. Should be three of them, I think. They like to take the time, what can I say? So, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're enjoying your weekend. They really, really want to just uh, uh, take it as long as humanly possible. Might be glitched. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I guess it has to be glitched. 